Hello, here is Michael Mark. So today, bring you by everything about the Cambodian poverty life. So our people live over there. The life is so hard, but I be able to work on it with my team at Cambodia. So they're working really hard to helping them. So I have opportunity to helping them. I'm so happy to be here in the United States. So, but everything you can see is all this, uh, those people that have no opportunity, have no any system to helping them to start their life. So I feel like uh, 500 years back there from the past. So, but uh, still have this old time, I mean, seem like the histories of time back to 500 years ago, but uh, still existed in uh, Cambodia, so people so hard. I got uh, a friend of mine help them, so they went to Cambodia, so they joined with uh, my team. They already there for people, so working. This is uh, Tom, brother Tom, so, and brother Michael can too when there so they brought some uh, donation that donate by people in the United States and all over the world so to buy some this pushing card so for the handicap he didn't have any card or he couldn't afford anything so those guys went there to join the team and helping them so uh, he is so excited to see them and then because they mostly see by the video post by my team at Cambodia but now uh, he went there to meet him uh, and then he can uh, see all kinds of the situation how poor they are but they so emotional for this situation they not uh, expected uh, to see all this, like they are so poor, they not be able to f afford anything. You can see their shelter, so um, built from bamboo and all kind of the palm tree leaf to be their wall. But uh, you can see all this is tear out, and this the village. Uh, it's not look so beautiful or pretty like in the United States. So the lifestyle over there is, is very poor and nothing to be grown, nothing to be helped, no medical, no Medicare, no any system to help those poor people or help uh, old people who get very old. You can see a few videos that I posted on uh, the short and some are really old but they struggle in their life like 70, 80, 90, so they still uh, find some, you know, uh, like a, a little business, the local business pushing the cart or they carry something by their hand and they sell to make a little profit. So the top earnings over there is $7, seven fifty, because they work as the construction workers, so they earn a little money, but construction workers, no guarantee for uh, paying every day. Sometimes they didn't pay them at all. They have no money and to make their living. So uh, mostly people earning like a few days, a dollar fifty, two dollar fifty here. My partner is a brother Wood, so he went to uh, the place that find out uh, how poor those people is, but uh, he is so hungry. But right uh, now, like he been there, it's raining, so he couldn't stop by to get any food. But he eat the noodles. You can see how hungry he is, but uh, and you can see all wet and it no concrete or pavement or look beautiful grasses like over here, but. Over there, you can see all dirt and bare uh, yard and no grass. So he just uh, went there when it's it raining, but uh, he didn't have the car to have to uh, take the motorcycle, ride motorcycle with uh, the other partner, um, Sapir, 
and his name to keep is younger but uh, what is brother what is uh, older than brother Pip so uh, they went there to take uh, like people see the widow they feel so compassion or they feel so sad and they're willing to help so they give them about three hundred dollars to buy the old motorcycle to help this family to start their business you know how busy they are but they're working so hard they only get little money for their living so it like it's not easy it's so hard like this young lady so she got stung by um, the hornet 15 of them so uh, after that they cannot be cure or treatment and her muscle and her nerve like cannot function anymore uh, it was for eight years ago when she was 13 but now she is 23 so she only be able to sleep on this bamboo bed so you can see her arm and her legs is straight like a lock and then she cannot move and she cannot do anything so this kind of the disability is caused by um, working hard to collect all the firewood so the accidentally like they got the, the hornet net so she got stung and then um, her parents got a war too um, her mother went to Phnom Penh to work as a construction worker so earn little money so uh, she lived with her aunt her aunt didn't get married so uh, have the little food to eat but when we heard this story so uh, we went there and uh, just making some videos so people feel so uh, much sad and want to helping her and then we we went there about three times already so I uh, try to buy something food or money or some clothes or you know kind of uh, the blanket and stuff so we just do the best we can to helping her uh, getting better or feel a little better about her life so it's so hard this family to um uh, her mother got in really really sick and uh, she herself she got a stroke too she cannot walk very well and uh, one left and right leg and cannot walk very well you know how stroke is so uh, she just stay here and to uh, take care of her mother so uh, later on her mother her mother passed away so we just got uh, information from it so we went back there to helping her too but herself not doing good no job no anything you can see this old uh, grandma is working really hard to raise uh, one her grandson in there but her shelter not very well they build on the dam and the other grandma too with the grandson to collect a uh, kind of the firewood to uh, cooking for uh, her food and then they especially they went out there to collect all kind of recycle like the plastic or the aluminum bottles or metal something to make a little money uh, yes uh, 4,000 real is one dollar but it's not a lot of one dollar to spend for her food a day like it's not enough but maybe enough to two dollars a day for her lunch her breakfast or whatever so for her dinner but as you can see all this situation i just feel so sad but nothing else i can do more than i can just making some videos share to the world and people can see it and how uh, in cambodia cambodian people living in the poverty life it's so hard it's not easy like here but uh, we feel a lot of stress and depression and anxieties and upset in, in our life in the United States but uh, it compared to Cambodia you can see their shelter their food their clothes or their medication and even they cannot afford for the, the generic medication from the store you know like Tide and all stuff so we brought some uh, they're helping them for clothes or anything where we can uh, send it to overseas but we just do the best we can but 
and turn your this video to motivate, inspire, and encourage you guys. Uh, don't feel upset about your life. You live here in the wonderful land. It's so much a lot of better than over there. You compare this to real life. In reality, that the way it is, but they also struggle and for a living, they want to survive for their life. How, how you know how to do it? How to live and deal with all this uh, situation? But. Uh, we here, we got a lot of stuff to use it. New modern technology, electronic, the phone and food. You know, it left over a lot of food, but uh, when I went to the parish in our community, or uh, in our home, that's a lot of food, but I don't know how to share with them, but uh, I save up some money, so like uh, $20, so, uh, thirty dollars fifteen dollars to send and helping them so you can compare to this like they earn one dollar fifty to uh, two dollar fifty or the top pay for construction workers they can pay like seven dollars seven fifty a day so but when you send a couple of dollars or twenty dollars can help them out a lot to start something so you can see this kid, it, no modern technology, no phone, no anything. You just uh, enjoy in the right field with this rainwater that uh, you store it by the water pond. But the kid here, it compares it to a lot of stuff. You know, just, uh, well, uh, we just use what we have it. It's not uh, what we wanted, but uh, when we need it, we use it. But compared to over there, you can see all this view is real. So um, I'm Michael Mark, so I see these uh, poverty life people who are generals, uh, this video to, with you guys to encourage, to motivate, to inspire something. It can help you guys out it's about feeling upset or for like something happens around us, but uh, we got better here. Uh, their life is so broke and poor, you know. Alright guys, have a wonderful day and thank you for your watching. Stay tuned for the next video. If you would like to support my channel, my work, please click like or smash the subscribe to support us. And then we get more you know, like kind of momentum to do the charity works to help all the poor people. Please share this video too and thank you for watching. And then you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.